Okay, Bolo Buddies, in this video, we are going to talk about the costume jewelry brand Coro. And there's a lot to know about it, but I'm just going to give you just some insights, some things to look for, some tips, and we're going to get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about a big money jewelry brand. And we're going to take a look at the markings on the back and some of the different things that you need to look for. So let's get started here with the first big money bolo. All right. So we are going to be talking about the brand Coro. This one is the duet. I'm not great with jewelry, guys. I'm learning, but I thought this would be a great way to just kind of learn together. So if I don't have the best keywords or descriptive words. Just bear with me here. But here's what I want to show you. So this is over on Mercari. And I do want to tell you that Mercari is a great platform for jewelry, both for um, selling and buying. If you um, are looking for some higher end stuff, it is available on Mercari. A lot of people call it the garage sale site. I, I just do not believe that. I'm trying to find the photo of the back on this one, and I'm not seeing it. But this is the duet, which means it comes apart into two separate pieces and has a backing. Now, I was hoping, here we go, that they would show. So this sold for $350 plus shipping. And it's a little bit bright, but you can see here that this piece and this piece connects on to that piece. And this is pretty blingy. The pictures are not super great on this one, a little bit out of focus, but you do get the idea. And I'm not seeing a marking on this one, but I have another example for you right here. This one is a Coro set. It's the horse, double horse duet. And it sold for 300. So let me pop this one open and let's take a look at the, the photos here. So it's got some bling here. Okay, these pictures are better. It says Coro Duet. It actually says Duet. And then it also has a patent number. And you can see here what it looks like. And this is the back piece. And we're gonna talk about this here in a few minutes but just incredible what these go for. I'm also gonna show you what they're going for on eBay and on Poshmark. If you are not on Mercari and you are thinking about it, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $10 to shop when you join and another uh, $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So check that out down below. That's my referral link. And then they also give me some money to shop. So that's fantastic. So let's go over to eBay and just kind of look at the Duet uh, Coro brand. And we may click on some of these and actually go in and look at the backs and look at more of like the signatures, the branding, if it's signed, unsigned. This one here has the original packaging. And you can see the little Pegasus um, I know over on Whatnot, I keep finding jewelry that is Coro with the Pegasus. I am guessing that this helps date the item. I do not know specifics on why some have a Pegasus or what year it is. I should do some research on that, but I really, I just don't dig that deep in. Uh, when I sell stuff on Whatnot, I'm just kind of pulling it out of a pile and starting my items, usually at $5. So if you're not following me on Whatnot, definitely come over. I do a lot of jewelry shows. But as you're going to see from this video, I know very little about jewelry. So that's why I like selling it on Whatnot. And I have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop on Whatnot with that referral link. And I will tell you, Whatnot is a great place to source jewelry and other things to resell. So this one went for $1,801 with 41 bids. Now, I'm not going in and confirming these like I typically do. Uh, one thing that's great about Mercari and Poshmark is they don't have non-payment. Over on Mercari and Poshmark, payment is automatically taken. It's not like eBay where you have unpaid. So it's easier to do research on those platforms for selling prices. This one sold for $940. 
And let's just go in and look at this one specifically at the photos. I'm going to make this a little bigger. And let's look. Is it missing a rhinestone right there? It looks like it might be. Or maybe it's just off color. But you can see how the backs look. Patent number. And this one right here, I think it says Coro Duet. And there you go. The seahorses, $940. You've got the fish, the jelly belly fish. There's two of them here. Here's the horse. Brooch and earrings on that one, 580. So you can see a lot of these demand high numbers. And I can't tell if that's missing rhinestones or not. But the fish seem to be really popular. If you can find those, they look like they go for about $400. But if you ever see these, definitely look them up. Here's another one of these. These are absolutely beautiful. So this right here sold for $405 on eBay. All right. And here are a few more just to give you guys an idea. Oh, look at the little owls. How cute. Oh, the little lovebirds. So yeah, big money in these. Definitely be on the lookout. Now, um, let's go over here to replacements. If you find the backs, just the backs, the frames, the pin only, you can also sell those. Two of these sold for $56, $51. Obviously, people are finding these. Sometimes they're missing the backs and these do sell. So keep an eye out. If you ever see anything that's weird, that looks like a brooch you've never seen. This is something I would probably miss. I wouldn't, I'd be like, what on earth is this? Now, you know, I'd probably think that was an actual brooch. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this is an interesting brooch. And it's a frame, $39.99, $33, $31. So you can see there is definitely money that can be made on these. And again, a lot of them, you know, they go for different prices. You're going to have to do your research. Some go for more than others. Here are the Coro duets that sold on Poshmark. $700 for this one. $400, $250, $208, $200. So yeah, big money. And a lot of these on Poshmark sold for less than they did on eBay. And that could just be the people selling the items didn't do their research. Maybe they were researching only on Poshmark. When you look up sold comps, I do recommend that you look at multiple platforms, um, especially eBay. I always look at eBay. WorthPoint is a great tool. It's kind of pricey, but it is a business expense and it does help you identify things that are harder to find. And I love WorthPoint. It took me a long time to get it. I do have some videos on it. If you type in Bolo Buddies WorthPoint, it will... Uh, pull up those videos and you can watch them. And I show you how WorthPoint has been beneficial to me because I was like, I am not paying that kind of money. And then I got it and I love it. So that if you watch that video and you feel like it's something that would be a good fit for you, um, you can use my referral link down below. All right, here is the Coral Coro brooch, Angel Jelly Belly. Now, this one actually has the tag attached, but I don't see anywhere on this one where it actually shows the brand. So they do have this advertisement that shows it right here, but let's look at the actual item itself. There's nothing on the back that says that this is Coro. So for all of you experts out there on Coro, let me know down in the comments, is a lot of Coro not signed? Is that common for it to not be signed? Here is some of the other Coro jelly belly angel fish. And this one's the duet. Here's one that is just, it's sterling, but 325. Here's two here, two pens, enamel rhinestone brooches, 1950s Coro question mark. Oh, so they put Coro question mark probably because if you look, it's probably not signed. So I don't know if these are Coro or not. They still sold for about a hundred bucks. Okay, so let's go over here to this one. This one is Adolf Katz Coral. And Adolf Katz seems to be, this one went for 220 on.
Mercari. Okay, so let's just scroll through here and look at the pictures. You can see right here it's signed Coro, and I think that might be the Pegasus. I'm not 100% sure. So 220 on that one. Let me go back and yeah, that looks like the Pegasus right there. All right, so I looked up Adolf Katz and Coro. And look at this, $985. Now, I don't know why specifically Adolf Katz. I'm guessing it's probably a collaboration. I want to see if this one is actually signed. Adolf Katz. Okay, so this one says Coro Craft Sterling, but it does not say Adolf Katz anywhere. So... There's probably a way to look up, just like uh, Crown Trafari, Trafari, there's the Felipe or whatever it is. This is probably just a, a designer for Coro. But some of the ones that are Adolf Katz, they go for more. This went for $375. let us look at the back of this one. And again, I am not verifying to see if these were paid for. You can do that by checking feedback. And right here is your little Coro, right there. Look how cute he is. Let's see here. So this one says Adolf Katz also for the duet. Hmm. And that one seems to be a pretty sought after brooch. So if you see that, oh, here's the bird fountain, the owls. So I wonder if most of the duets are the Adolf Katz. That's interesting because a lot of people are putting the Adolf Katz in the title for these. Maybe he has the fancier stuff. Yep. Very cool. Here, this says uh, Coral Pegasus. And let's see what the back looks like. Just to let you guys see the marking. Okay, so yeah, this is a duet also. And maybe they'll give us a close up. See, that's just got the Pegasus and Coro. And let's see if we can find. There it is. Coro Duet. And then it's got the patent pending number. These are beautiful. Definitely a nice uh, big money bolo for sure. And the other one that I thought was interesting is the Coro Faux Stained Glass Brooch. This one looks very simple to me. Uh, not super fancy, something that many of us might overlook. $128.25 for this one. And it says Coro right there. And this sold on Mercari. So I wanted to look at eBay also. And right here, you've got one that sold for $113.89.99. And then this one right here, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I would probably say don't start your items on auction at a super low price unless you know it's going to sell. Um, I would look up sold comps and start the auction maybe at a closer to a sold price. So if I were to auction one of these, I'd probably start it at $89.99 and just hope that maybe more than one person was looking for it and I would get a bidding war and it would go for over 100 Do you see what I'm saying? Let's look at this one and see what they started the auction at. And you guys may or may not know how to do this. Um, 22 bids. So I clicked on that and you can go in and you can see they started this at 99 cents. So to me, that's risky. I personally would not start my item at 99 cents, but they did okay. They sold this for $113, but this is no longer a registered user. So um, who knows if they actually paid or not. I don't see where it says that the item was relisted. A lot of times you can go down and you can click see all feedback and you can type in Coro and it will pull it up and you can try to find the item in the feedback to see if it actually sold or actually got paid for. That's one way to do it. Another thing is, is to view items for sale. And you can type in Coro stained glass and see if it pulls up and nothing pulled up. So typically as a reseller, you and I know that if we have an item that doesn't sell, what do we do? 
we relist it. So I'm going to say that they probably paid, but they're no longer a registered user or maybe they sold it on another platform. I don't know, but they no longer have the item. So that's good news for the seller. So three takeaways from this video are number one, look at the back. It's going to give you information that you need. Number two, you can sell jewelry on multiple platforms. I talked about eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but you can sell on other platforms as well. So use the different marketplaces. I use this perfectly to cross post. I do have a link down below with a video that shows you how that works. You can get 30% off your first month with code BOLO BUDDIES. That is my referral links. Check out the video, see if it's a good fit. Okay, the third takeaway is don't dismiss it because it's incomplete. You can sell replacements just like the frames or some are we're calling it the pin and even just the pieces that connect to it. Those items are sellable, so don't pass those by if you can get them for the right price. All right, so this was just sort of an educational video from somebody who is not super educated on jewelry. This is my way of learning and helping you learn as I learn. Um, I hope you liked the video. Let me know down in the comments what you think. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.